Death Stranding after his controversial Metacritic from day one has crept up a point from 84 to 85, but suddenly went back down to 85. Now, does this seesaw even matter in his Metacritic score? Well, yes, and here's why I think so. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then rock those bells for notifications, please. I can't even say button. Because <laughs> you know, you so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. Death Stranding! Had all this controversy about the Metacritic and the discussion of games not being fun still can be stellar and all this other stuff. But before we get too deep into that, do me a huge favor, okay? All right. Understand how I dropped my material. I dropped my material so you guys aren't lost in the sauce. Understand that I dropped my material via three parts. First, I do the checkup, I do the analysis, and then I do the prescription, okay? So we all on the same page? Yes, yes. All right, let's go. First, the checkup. Death Stranding, 2019 PlayStation 4 exclusive, is set to release November 8th, 2019. Now, it has been it is made by acclaimed and rock star, quote unquote, developer Hideo Kojima. Now, this is the first game from Kojima's newly found Kojima's Productions. After a tumultuous battle with former boss Konami, Kojima was considered to have finally had the chain's release after they let him go or whatever the case may be after he's no longer been he's no longer affiliated with them and he is now able to create the quote unquote masterpiece we all deserve now that he has his own production studio all right now for the analysis well as that ever so sensational sensationalized metacritic has called it it is not reviewed as well as some have hoped now, in line with other PlayStation 4 back AAA titles and its prior works, the game has failed to reach 90 or even high 80s and Metacritic. This caused quite an elevated discussion of the game, as many are calling the game polarizing due to a lot of reviewers' takes that the game is a visual and cinematic masterpiece, but at the core, a boring game. Now, despite the boring part, many are stating that the ga that games in general don't have to be fun in order to be great. And along with that, many critics alike are giving the game 90 plus scores still while echoing the same sentiment about it not having to be fun. So now on to the prescription. What does your boy MM2K think about all this? Well, I think this is significant as I alluded earlier because it just shows you how pathetic <laughs> Kojima stands are, Sony fanboys are, and more importantly, the media elites, all right? Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, look, first and foremost, we got the Kojima stands that, let's be honest here, will braise his sausage at a moment's notice. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> Period, all right? Then we have the Sony fanboys who simply want to first argue is another Sony masterpiece, therefore will be a 90 plus meta for sure, for sure. Then when it's not, they want to argue, oh, it's a multi-plat, it's an indie studio, a new IP. Even though Sony apparently owns the IP according to Push Square and Colin Moriarty, Two, Sony also funded the hell out of this game. You know what I'm saying? Giving them access to the now known Decima engine, studio capture, top elite, and all this other stuff, right? And thirdly, Sony owns its new this new IP, but this uh, Sony has its own new IP from a far less distinguished developer in which that title rated better with much less funding, AKA Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> but despite all that foolery and trickery and effery and the damage control from the Sony fanboys, here's the real problem, the media. Now, in lieu of all this, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't believe it that we are now arguing that games don't need to be fun, right? Despite in the purest definition of games, they are. 
a form of play according to rules in which level of success and or progression are decided by skill or luck. In that definition, the word play, play, P-L-A-Y, is key. I don't think anybody with any reasonable sense can argue with that, okay? Let me further extenuate my point, this whole silly, crazy notion that games don't have to be fun, but as long as they're visual marvels, that's quite okay, and they can be considered stellar, fantastic at that, right? Let, let me accentuate my point this way. Let's just say that instead of the Joker movie, the recent, recently released Joker movie, the movie that we all love, let's just say that instead of a movie, we got Joker the game, right? What if at the core of this game, it was the actual movie? But let's just say the way that this game starts off, right? It starts off at the beginning of the, the movie, as we know it, where the Joker is calling the sign, all right? Now, trust me, there won't be, this will be spoiler free. I'm not gonna spoil the movie for you. But at, we've seen this in the commercials where he's trolling the sign and he's outside, right? And let's just say that's the interactive part of the game. And let's just say, all you do for 20 to 30 hours is you're trolling the sign. That's, that's, that's the play loop of the game, right? You troll and balance the sign and make sure people don't knock it over or kids don't steal it from you. In order to do so, you use the left and right triggers, right? <laughs> to balance the sign. And in between this play loop, you get 15 minute chunks of what we know as the movie. Then let's say all of a sudden, 30 hours later, you get a halfway decent one level side scroller. Then immediately after that, right, you get the rest of the movie. Now, with that being said, per what people generally, generally look for in a game, per the purest definition of such that we went over earlier, I ask, is that a great gaming experience? Gaming experience, not just experience in general, but gaming experience right? See, here's the thing, y'all. As gamers, we have to ask ourselves, have we gone too far off the reservation when it comes to the handling of our beloved culture? The fact that we're even having this discussion, I say yes. Gameplay is an essential part of games. Games, though having cinematic elements at times, are not movies. And distinctions are okay, people. That's what truly makes things diverse. In that vein, let me read you what my good brother Porter Rock, a response that he had on Twitter to this notion from the pundits, right? Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is from the homie, Tony Polenko. He's a, 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 a game writer. Um, I for, forget what publication, but he's a famous game writer, you know what I'm saying, and reviewer, hence the, the blue check mark, right? So Tony says, quote, fun, unquote, is a subjective term. To me, fun means not, uh, to me, fun means I'm laughing and smiling. Most of the games I play are not fun in my opinion. I think people conflate fun with entertaining, engaging. For example, The Last of Us is not a fun game, but it is entertaining slash enthralling. In response to that, now this is from Porter Rock, a known PlayStation, you know what I'm saying, enthusiast. At the top of the PlayStation enthusiast, Mr. King PlayStation himself. Here's his response. He says, the problem is gaming journal journalism are trying to be like movie journalists slash critics. Movie critics can say a movie is not fun, but describe how impactful slash emotional a movie, a movie can be. Gaming is interactive. The interaction has to be fun, but now journalists trying to redefine fun. He continues with this, accommodate their profession to see if they can be on the same plane as movie critics. Listen, gaming journalists will never be movie journalists. You have to take the interaction, AKA gameplay into account. I, I assume gameplay needs to be fun. The whole point of gaming, remember it's games. Whoops, got me jumping all over the place. <laughs> With that said, all right. <sighs> These game pundits are trying to blur the lines because it makes their life easier, as my homie Porter Rock alludes to. 
not having to fully play or be skilled in these games, but rather just indulge in the cinematics. And I get it. Time restraints put, you, put to you by these companies are at the root. But that's a you problem. You and these big wig publications have to get better at this or fall because of it. Therefore, I say gamers in totality, totality. Let's take back our community from this ridiculousness of the console warriors, stands and pundits. Support your favorite content creator who takes time and fully plays and vets these titles as should be. Also support the diverse opinions so we get a pure aggregate of opinions to know what a truly great title is across the board. Doing so is the only way that games will flourish and our culture will flourish at that. And with that being said, that's it from your boy MM2K. We got through this despite all the technical difficulties, but I'm one take Moss, as my boy Nethal said, I'm not doing this over. Y'all gonna get this raw and uncut. <laughs> but that's it. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, cause like I always say, who cares what I think? And if you did like what I have to say, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Check me out on PNTS Network at pntsnetwork.com. Check me out with the broadband bullies. Go to my homie, NextGen720's channel, or go to biggamersmalltalk.com. Check out my, my, my uh, content there. And lastly, check me out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture at hndc.live or twitch.tv forward slash uh, twitch most 2000 With that said, I hope this brought things into proper perspective for the community. And with that, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day, despite whatever Death Stranding's Metacritic ends up being at the end of the day. Peace.